The number one reason your Facebook YouTube channel isn't getting the views that you want is simply because it's lacking a human element to it. And the easiest way for you to be able to add that human element into your videos is making sure that you're using an AI generated avatar so you don't have to show on screen, but there's still a human on the screen to gain somebody's trust. In fact, this is the same thing that this channel recently used to gain over 250,000 subscribers in just 90 days. And this channel was able to do the same thing except they gain over 100,000 subscribers. And guess what? Both of these channels now make over $10,000 a month simply because they took advantage of what I'm gonna share with you in this video. Because creating one of these videos with an AI avatar in it only takes three steps, and it doesn't matter if you've never made a video before on YouTube, it's really simple. Step number one, you need to find video ideas that have a high demand. And no, this doesn't mean that you go and find a video that was uploaded to YouTube five years ago that has millions of views, or that you look at your competitors' videos, filter by popular, and then see which videos they've created. Instead, you need to be focused on how many views per hour certain topics are getting, so you can make sure that you're only creating content on topics YouTube actually wants to push out. Now here's how you actually do that. What you need to make sure that you do is you need to come into your YouTube studio, you need to come into analytics, and then you need to click on inspiration right here. Now what this is going to share with you is what your ideal audience is looking for, different breakout videos, and things that you can make a short on or new videos to inspire you. So what you're going to want to do here, you could start by just using this search bar. For example, I'm going to be uploading a video pretty soon about the Instagram algorithm. So what I'm going to do is type in here, Instagram algorithm, and this is going to tell me whether or not it has a very high interest from my viewers in the last 28 days. And then it's going to give me some more ideas based on that and what other people are watching. So I'm going to be able to see whether or not these videos actually get a lot of views. So like a short on this topic, over 500,000 views. This video, over 45,000. This video, over 50,000. And if I go into show all, this is going to show me all of the recent videos that have gotten a lot of views on this topic. So I can level set and actually figure out how many views I may be able to get on one of these videos. But what you can also do is come into here, you're going to come back again, and you're going to see all these different breakout videos. This is going to show me different videos on YouTube that in the last week have gotten a lot of views so that I know that these are topics that there's a large audience for, and then I can create a video or you can create a video on these same topics. Now, obviously, I'm doing this for my channel, but you're going to need to do this for your channel and for your niche. And then from there, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look at what title they're using, you're gonna to wanna to look at what thumbnail they're using and how long their video is, and you need to make sure that you're creating a title that is similar to theirs, a thumbnail that is similar to theirs, and the length of your video needs to be similar to theirs because that's how the YouTube algorithm actually works. When somebody interacts with a video on a certain topic, with a certain title, with a certain thumbnail, in a certain length, guess what happens the next time they log on to YouTube? They get shown content that is similar to that. So if you're creating content that isn't similar to what your current ideal viewer is watching, well, guess what? That's why you're not getting the views that you want. Now, at this point, we can move on to step number two, which is actually going ahead and creating that video with the AI avatar. Now, I have tried dozens and dozens of tools when it comes to creating AI avatars, and Wondershare's Verbo AI is by far the best. It allows you to choose from several different options in order to create that avatar, depending on what kind of avatar you actually want to create. And by the way, you go to the pinned comment below and get started with them right now so you can follow along. So now that you're using Verbo AI, there are several different ways that you could actually create one of these AI avatar videos. For example, they have more than 300 different avatars that you could choose from. You could create your own custom AI avatar, or they have 460 different voices that you could use to create the perfect faceless video that's gonna allow you to get a lot of views and get monetized on YouTube. Now for this video, I wanna actually walk through starting with a video from scratch, so we need to head over to ChatGPT to get it to create a script for us. Now it is very important that you do this exactly how I say. The first thing that you need to do, you need to come up here and change this to 01 preview. This is going to change how ChatGPT actually thinks and it is going to create a better script for you. Now what you're gonna say is I need you to be a YouTube expert. I am creating a video with an AI avatar about the Instagram algorithm. I need a script that'll be 10 to 12 minutes long. Please write it out word for word and make sure there's a hook, different transition phrases, and different topics slash points that are touched on. 
So we're going to do that. What this is going to do now is this is going to go ahead, it's going to think, it's actually going to generate that script, and we are going to be able to use that script when we head over to Verbo AI, and it is going to make this entire process incredibly easy. And by the way, for those of you that want to, you could screenshot this right here and just change this prompt out, and it's going to make building your scripts with ChatGPT 100 times easier so long as you have this up here like this. Now, if we scroll through this, this actually did an amazing job. It has an opening hook, it has an intro, transitions, different topics. Now, what we can do is we're going to keep this up in this tab, and now we need to pull up Verbo AI so that you can choose exactly how you want to create your AI avatar because there are several different ways that you could do this. For example, you could choose from a bunch of the different fixed settings that they already have. The second thing that you could do is choose an avatar that has a green screen background. For example, that's what this channel right here is doing. They uploaded only 90 videos, a bunch of them have gone viral, and guess what? Now this channel is monetized and this is simply made with an AI avatar doing exactly what I'm showing you in this video. Now you could also choose this right here where it's a talking photo where essentially you're going to upload a photo and then you just have to add a voice and it's going to change the way that the person is speaking. But for the sake of this video, what I want to do is actually choose one of these AI avatars. So we're going to come into marketing right here and we're going to try to choose the AI avatar that's best going to fit. Now I'm going to go with this one right here because I think he looks best. But what you could do is if you click into these, what you're going to be able to do is actually preview this to see how they sound what they look like and what the feel is like for them. Fácil de usar, sin necesidad de capturar. So I thought he would have been good, but I actually don't want to use him. So I'm going to come back into these AI avatars and I am going to choose another one. For example, I'm actually going to go with Andy right here. I want to go with Andy because he looks a little bit put together, but not too put together. That other example I was using, he had a suit on and I don't actually think that's going to be the best for the video that I'm going to be creating. So I'm going to click create video right here and then this is going to bring up Verbo AI. Now from here, we're going to be able to do a bunch of different things. For example, we could upload a specific background here or we can create a background for him. Like I like this background right here, which is going to look like he's got a little fireplace and things like that. And then also what we could do is we could come over here and we could actually change this multiple different times. For example, if we wanted to change this and make it look like he was now in an office, we'd be able to do that. And we're going to be able to change the background several different times at each point in the video so that it looks super realistic. Now from here, we could add in the script down here. And there are a few different ways that you could do this. We could use the ChatGPT script that we created before, or if we click right here, this is going to create an AI script. So what we could do here is put in the requirements. For example, I'm going to come back to ChatGPT. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to click send. And this is going to go ahead and it's going to actually create this script. Now what we want to do is is compare. Is the ChatGPT script better or is this script better? And in most cases, you're actually going to want to use both of those different scripts because it's going to allow for you to be able to create the best video. So just looking at this script right off the bat, it does look a little short, so I'm going to want to expand on it. So I'm going to get it to expand and I'm probably going to have to click expand a few times so that it actually creates a video that's long enough. On top of that, remember, you can always go in and edit the script in here. So now from here, I'm going to take this and then I'm going to paste this into the script right here. Now, before I show you what this end product can actually look like, I did want to show you a few different things. So like I shared earlier, we could keep changing these different backgrounds that makes the video look a lot more realistic. Now, if we want to change how he looks, for example, how I'm the circle on the screen right now, we could do the same thing with him. We could create a circle view and then what that's going to do is change what he looks like on the screen. For example, it looks like a circle or we could do a half length view. Now for right now, I just want this to be a regular close up. We can also change his positioning over here and so much more. On top of that, what we can do is we can come over here and change how this different text is going to show up. For example, I don't like this text as much. I'm actually going to go with a text like this because I think it looks a lot better. And you could add in here that this is simply just going to follow the script. Now on top of that, what we could do is come down here and change the speed in which he talks. We can change the pitch on his voice. We could change the volume on his voice. And we can click play scripts right here. And this is actually going to begin to talk out the script so we could see how the voice is going to change. Instagram posts get tons of likes and comments while others barely get any attention. 
Now what we'll be able to do from there is we just heard how that sounds. We could change it to a new voice up here. We could add favorites to our favorite voices. And over time, you're gonna be able to play with all these different voices. On top of that, if you just wanna record your own audio, click audio script right here, and then put the file in here, and it is going to upload the file so that it actually trains the AI avatar to speak exactly like you. And on top of that, we can come into stickers over here and add in different edits. We could add in different music. But you guys get the point. You are literally going to be able to create AI avatar generated videos simply by playing with all these different things on the screen and then boom, you're going to be able to export it. For example, here's what this one looks like right here. Good day, viewers. Today, we are diving deep into the mysterious world of the Instagram algorithm. And that's pretty crazy. He moves his hands, he moves his eyes, he moves his mouth, there's text coming up on the screen, and you're gonna be able to take this and you're gonna be able to edit this. Now let's say you didn't wanna actually create a video like this and you wanted to do a URL to video. Now this is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. So what you can do here is you want to take a product, for example, we're gonna go over to Amazon and we're gonna find a random product, like this microphone that I actually use in my content. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna click Analyze, and and what this is going to do is create a video that's going to be publishable to TikTok, to Instagram, to any platform, and boom, it is going to take that product and actually make a video with it. So as you can see right here, it did this, there's a prompt, there's all these different photos from the listing, I have the aspect ratio, I have the duration, I have the language, I have the video type, and then guess what? I'm gonna click generate video, and this is literally going to go ahead and create a video for me. If you're trying to do affiliate marketing or something along the lines of that with YouTube's new shopping tool, with TikTok, or with Instagram, this is gonna be a game changer. Now from here, you're gonna see that this generated several different videos. For example, there's this video with the person up in the corner, there's this video, again, somebody up in the corner, and then there's this video with the avatar right down here. Now what I might wanna do is edit. Maybe I wanna change the avatar. I wanna use Andy, which is the avatar that we used before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little search bar right here. I'm gonna type in Andy's name, and then we're gonna see Andy pop up. And from here, we're gonna click Blogger Andy again, or maybe we wanna use Casual Andy, and then then we're gonna click confirm. Now we're also gonna to have to change the language since we did that. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is use Brian's voice right here. We're gonna click select and boom. Now we have Andy up here and he's doing a product review of something and nobody actually had to go ahead and create this video. Now from here, I'm gonna click export video so we could see what this actually looks like. Microphone, your ultimate partner for recording and streaming adventures that dazzle. Look at that beauty. So as you'll see, he actually changes different placements. There's new B-roll edit in the background. The only thing we might wanna to do to this video is just lower the sound a little bit, but other than that, this video is gonna be good to go, and it literally took just a few seconds to make. Now, as a reminder, if you go to the pinned comment below, you could get started with Verbo AI today, and you could start creating your own AI avatar so you can finally get more views on YouTube and ultimately get monetized from your faceless videos. Now, this brings me to the last and most important step of this whole entire process. You've already gone through and got a really good topic for your video. I showed you how to create that AI avatar generated piece of content so that there's actually a human element in your content. And now, you need to upload your content to YouTube the the right way. And there are four things that you need to make sure that you're doing. The first thing you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that your thumbnail file and your video file are both named the title of your video. Secondly, you need to make sure that your description and your tags are set up correctly. Here's how you actually go ahead and do that. So for example, this is the past video that I did about the Instagram algorithm. So you're gonna see that Instagram algorithm shows in the title. You're also going to see that I have a two sentence description that says this video explains how the Instagram algorithm works in 2024. If you wanna know the fastest way to get followers on Instagram in 2024, this video is for you. Now, the reason that I did that is I needed to have Instagram algorithm here shown in the description one to two times. And then finally, if I come down to the tags right here, you're gonna see that Instagram algorithm shows up in these tags a bunch of different Different times. In fact, if I do a find over here, we're going to see that this shows up several different times in the tags. And that is why this video did so good and got over 70,000 views and maybe over $800 for just uploading a single video to YouTube. But the other thing that you need to make sure that you do correctly is you need to make sure that these few settings are enabled. First and foremost, allow automatic placements. Secondly, allow automatic chapters and key moments. And then finally, if you come down here, you need to make sure that the correct category is chosen and that you allow both video and audio remixing. 
Because what you are gonna want is for other people to be able to react to your content on YouTube. Because if other people don't react to your content on YouTube, they're not liking your content, they're not commenting on your content, or they're not creating new content out of the content you just generated, it's gonna be one of the reasons that you fail to grow on YouTube right now and fail to get monetized during, quite frankly, the easiest time ever to grow on YouTube. Now at this point, the only reason that you're not growing faster on YouTube or getting monetized is simply because you don't know what kind of content you should be creating or how to improve your videos. And I personally wanna help you with that. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you make better content on YouTube so you can finally get monetized. If that sounds interesting, well please, check out this video right here that explains exactly how we can work together so I can help you get monetized quicker and tell you everything you're doing wrong. I'll see you over there.